morning my friends today mama's in the kitchen making tortillas simple and easy low carb tortillas what are you gonna need you got to go get you some almond flour I like the really fine flour the blanch this you might have you might not have bacon grease if you do not have bacon grease this just gives it flavor but if you do not have bacon grease you can use lard I've never tried it with oil. I don't know how it would work with oil. Uh, bacon powder, pinch of bacon powder, and a pinch of salt. And let's get started. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you that I have a Mexican tortilla press. You don't necessarily need this. I also use in the press something that will help me, you know, take the tortilla onto my hand. So I use a, a plastic paper, but you could use parchment paper as well. And you've got to wet your hands uh, to do this. Okay, be right back. Show you all the good and goodness is coming. All right, my friends, we're going to use one cup of almond flour. All right. We are going to use two tablespoons of the grease of your choice. This just gives it flavor. Not not heaping, just regular two tablespoons. One. And two. All right. When I say a pinch, I guess I'm just going to... The other day uh, I did a pinch and people were like, what is a pinch? I'm, basically one eighth of a teaspoon, just a little bit. Um, you need to give it some salt. You know, everything needs salt. And then we're going to put about a pinch of the baking soda. I mean, baking powder. You get those confused, don't you? I do. All right. Simple as one, two, three. <laughs> At least that's the, way, that's the way I say. All right. So then you wash your hands and you get ready to... Get that, get your hands dirty. You are going to mix this together with your hands. All right. We're going to bring it all together. And we are going to add a little bit of water. Not much. Not much. Just dab it. You'll know. Just a little bit. You will know when it comes together. You want it to be at, like a, like a, if you've never made tortillas before, you want it to be springy. Springy. Because your, your dough has to um, come out, uh, how can I say, spread, spreadable. All right. Now, I might have added a little bit too much water. See, I only needed a dab. But that's a little too wet. So, you know, I'm trying to teach you to, if you just don't be afraid to make a mistake, you just get back in there and add a little bit more. Not too much because you have to really feel for this. This has more of a feel. When you get that texture and all of a sudden everything is not sticking to the bowl anymore, see? how it's all coming together and there's nothing sticking to the bowl, it might come off your hands as well, then that's the dough you want. All right, be right back. My friends, are we ready? Now, all you need is a little bit of oil and put it in your hands and then spread on your plastic or your parchment. Take one of the balls, put it in the middle, and then squish. You want to go lightly at first because you, you, you have to have some uh, thickness to it. If, if, it's not, if it's not too thick, if it's too thin, it will be hard to flip. So that's about the consistency that you want. Now, are they easy to come off? If you have oil on them, yes. Will they crack? They might. 
let me show you. Let me take you over. I've already put one on the griddle so we could speed this up a little bit. But let me show you. That one's already got a bubble in it. Now let's put this down. And all I do, if it does crack, is I press them together. Now just remember, this is not corn tortillas. So almond flour is going to tend to do a little uh, different. This one has been cooking. I wanted to show you ahead of whoa, I wanted to show you ahead of time how how it's supposed to, you know. I haven't flipped this one yet. But you want it to stay and cook until you see the little balls come up. And the longer if they're not going to burn. The the longer the better because you want them to be able to flip with ease. So don't be in a rush. See, that's the thing. Um when I first started making them, I would get in a rush, and then they would break. And uh, if they break, like I said, don't worry. You can fix You can fix it. Now, this one's ready to flip. Ta-da! All right. Just remember, they're not corn tortillas, but you will enjoy them the same way. You can put avocado on that. You can uh, just anything you can do on a tortilla, you can do with this. All right. Let me go over here and do one more to show you. But I'm going to let you see how long it takes for, for me to use this, okay? I'll be right back. Well, I'm, I'm right here. And I'm going to make another one. I do the same thing. I put a little bit of uh, bacon grease on my hands or, or whatever you're using. Go down, press. You don't want to press too... If your ball is really, really big and it presses out too thin, just do it again. Okay, I've got another one. I need to move this one over. Move this one down. Well, no, I can do this one right here. Okay, here we go. Wow, that one's perfect. And the more you make them, that you have to have oil on your hands. I know it's kind of messy, but you do because you want to let go. It, it won't let go of your hand if you if it's dry if your hand is dry it just it won't it won't release the the masa the almond masa is what we, we might as well call it all right so we have one that I started ahead of time so you could see the way it cooks all right this one this one is the one we started all right, let me show you. Let's see if I can get you in the camera. This one, I we made together, and it's starting to spring up. This one's going to take a little bit of time, but this is the one we're going to try here in a minute, and I'll be right back. guys so I have returned I left one that is still cooking but I took the other ones off um, I made a tostada and I made a tortilla okay what is the difference one is harder than the other this one stayed on there a, a little longer hear that of course you hear the, the plane I also made a little bit of guacamole but hear that see it cracked but as long as you leave it on the griddle it will get hard and it's like a tostada these are softer I want you to see that these are softer this one's breaking already but that's okay doesn't matter we're not looking for you know we're looking for taste and and not perfection okay let me show you I have avocados that are not quite ready yet so what you do is you just put them in the chopper with a little bit of garlic uh, salt garlic salt and voila I'm a little red because of the of the griddle standing over it but let me give you let me give you a taste yes <laughs> I'm gonna taste I'm only using avocado, but you could use anything you want, right? I'm going to spread my um, my tostada just halfway so you can see. And then I'm going to use 
the other tortilla. It It is going, it's, it, when you make them soft, they are going to break. Just know that. But look at that. Baby, mama's done it again. I think that'll be my new thing. Mama's done it again. Mm, mm, mm. Remember, it's not corn, but it is delicious. You actually get the flavor of the bacon. I can just imagine a little, little pieces of bacon in this. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to finish it. Okay. So then we have the tostada. See, that's the thing when you cook, you gotta, you gotta eat. Now, I am pretty uh, simple when it comes to my guacamole. I don't like anything getting it too wet. I like plain avocado and garlic salt. That's all you need. A lot of the restaurants, they water this stuff down. You want avocado. You want to taste it. Eat it. Mmm. I don't know if you're hearing the crunch. It does have a slight crunch. I'll try it again for you. Mmm. 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 I like them like this. My husband likes them uh, softer. Try them. You just might like them. Just remember that do not be impatient. Look, that one's still working. I have already turned it off. Oh, by the way, my griddle was at 300. So, it is possible for you to enjoy a tostada or a tortilla. Just remember, they are not, they are pliable but they also break. Just know that. Put a little bit of, um, make them smaller, like tapas. You know, I make them small, just so that you so you can eat them one at a time. Put a little bit of hamburger meat, cheese. Come on now. All right, I've eaten too many. <laughs> Remember to, to not eat too much. All right, but enjoy this recipe. If you are enjoying Mama's in the Kitchen, I need to know <laughs> so that I can continue to make more recipes. All right, guys, I love you. This is something I have made, and I've enjoyed them. When I started the low-carb, I needed something because I'm Mexican. But this hits the spot. Not every day, but when uh, you want something special. All right, I love you, and I'll see you when I see you. Come back to Mama's in the Kitchen. Let your friends know about it. And there's Taco. Bye.